Welcome to our comprehensive overview of the 3CX web client. This video is intended to help you gain a solid understanding of the web client and its features. Throughout this tutorial, we'll cover everything from sending and receiving calls to messaging and more. Let's dive in. Let's start off by going to the 3CX welcome email sent to us by our system administrator. In this email, you'll find your web client details here, including the web client URL and your login credentials. Let's select the web client URL. From here, we can enter our extension number and then our password and select login. Now that we've logged into the 3CX web client, we'll see a variety of icons that provide access to different features. At the top of the screen, you'll find your extension profile, the currently selected navigation panel tab, the 3CX dialer, and a QR code for configuring the 3CX mobile app. Meanwhile, the left-hand side of the screen houses a navigation panel which contains a range of menus for accessing various features. Now let's dive deeper into some of these menus and features to help get you started. Let's start by exploring the 3CX dialer and how to make and receive calls. When you open up the dialer, you'll see a keypad where you can enter a phone number, name, extension number, or email address. Once you've entered the information, simply select the handset icon to initiate the call. Additionally, you'll notice the call using function at the top of the dialer. If you have another phone registered to your extension, such as a desk phone, you can select it from the drop-down menu. This feature enables remote control of the selected phone via the web client. In other words, control via the web client and talk via the selected phone. On inbound call, you can choose to answer the call, decline the call, or send the call to your voicemail. Now let's take a look at some of the in-call features. To transfer a call, we have two options. If we select transfer and key in a number or extension, this will immediately send the call to this number. This is known as a blind transfer. If we select attended transfer, this will put the caller on hold and allow us to speak to the receiver before the call is transferred. To conference another user or phone number, we can select conference and enter the number or name of another person. When they've answered the call, they will be automatically added to the existing call. If we would like to record a call, we can select the record button. To stop the recording, we can simply select the record button again. These recordings can be accessed via the recordings tab of the web client. Please note that recording permissions would have to be enabled by your admin. To initiate a new call on a separate line without hanging up the current call, we can select the new call button and enter the name or number of this callee. We can also elevate a call to a video call by selecting the video icon here. At this point, we should have a good understanding of the 3CX dialer and all of its features. Let's now go take a look at statuses and forwarding options. If we select our extension profile here, we'll see a number of extension statuses available. We'll also see our currently active status on our extension profile. During a call, our extension status will change to yellow, we can select any of these status options here to update our current extension status. We can also add an extension status note by selecting the pencil icon next to a status. Here, we can choose to set a temporary status which will revert back to our current status after the selected time has elapsed. To take a deeper look at what each of these statuses do, let's navigate to our web client settings and now to call forwarding. This section on status forwarding allows us to customize inbound call handling based on our current extension status. Essentially, this means when a particular status is active on our extension, calls will be handled according to the configuration set up for that status. We have a number of options including how long our extension will ring for, where to send unanswered calls, when our extension is registered and available for both external and internal calls, as well as where to send calls when our extension is unregistered or busy. At the bottom here, we do have a few additional options. Also, Ring My Mobile will allow for simultaneous ringing of both your mobile phone and 3CX extension phone. Accept Multiple Calls allows for a call to ring your extension even when you're already on an active call. Accept Push Notifications will allow the 3CX web client to show call notifications when your 3CX web client tab isn't your currently selected browser tab. We can also choose to set up the automatic switching of our extension status based on the time of day. During the configured office hours, our extension will automatically switch to the available status. During our break hours, our extension will automatically switch to the away status. 
Finally, during any time outside of these hours, our extension will automatically switch to the Do Not Disturb status. Please note, if you're in either of the custom extension statuses, automatic switching will be ignored entirely. Let's now take a tour of the navigation panel. The team panel provides an easy way to see and communicate with all team members of any groups we're a part of. Using the drop-down menu, we can switch between group views with ease. Within each group panel, we can view the current status of team members and quickly initiate voice and video calls, or start a chat by simply clicking a button. If we select the ellipsis, we have access to additional options, including intercom, sending an email, leaving a voicemail, calling the mobile number, or starting a video conference, and more. Lastly, if we'd like any personal contacts we've added to display on the team panel, we can select the toggle here. Let's now take a look at the chat tab. The chat view is your one-stop shop for all messaging related tasks within the 3CX web client. Here you can easily send and receive instant messages with team members or SMS messages, WhatsApp messages, and even Facebook messages if they've been configured by your administrator. To help streamline communication, group managers can create and edit quick response chat templates which allow users to respond with predefined messages, greatly reducing response times. You can even use placeholder values that will automatically input text based on things like the customer's contact name or your extension's mobile number. These templates can be sorted into different categories and languages for maximum efficiency. Let's move on to the Meet tab. This enables you to create voice, video, and webinar style meetings quickly and easily. With this feature, you can hold ad hoc meetings on the fly or schedule meetings in advance, making it ideal for team collaboration and client meetings. If you're new to conferencing or would like to learn more, we highly recommend checking out our 3CX conferencing video, which provides a detailed overview of this feature. We've included a link to this video in the description below. Moving on to the Calls tab, this allows us to view all of our extensions call history. We can sort call history by all calls or incoming, outgoing, missed, or abandoned calls. Additionally, we have options for callback, starting a chat, or deleting any call history entries. Let's move on to the Panel tab now. The 3CX panel view displays real-time queue statistics allowing managers to direct resources to where they are most needed and ensure 100% first contact resolution. With this feature, important call center metrics such as callbacks, waiting time, and abandoned calls can be easily tracked and analyzed. The 3CX panel view can even be used with a projector or big screen for easy visibility. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the panel view. In this view, we can see any currently active calls and perform various operations depending on the permissions provided by our admin. We can barge into the call, listen in, whisper to the user extension, transfer the call to another extension, park the call, or even drop or record it. At the bottom, we can also view the current agent status and any queues that that agent is signed into. Furthermore, by changing panel view and selecting a specific queue, queue managers can see individual agent statistics as well as queue statistics for each queue. With all this valuable information at your fingertips, you'll be able to make informed decisions and optimize your call center operations. Moving on to the contacts tab, here is where we can view any business and personal contacts. We can click to call any contact with a handset icon. The plus icon lets us add a new personal contact to our contact list. We can also sort our contact list by all contacts or just our personal contacts. Finally, if we select the ellipsis icon, we can view recordings, voicemail, and settings. Let's take a look at the voicemail tab. In the voicemail panel, you can easily access all the voicemails left on your extension. Each voicemail includes the caller's number as well as the date and time the voicemail was left and the length of the voicemail recording. Any voicemails you haven't listened to will be bolded. With the click of a button, you can download the voicemail file to your local computer, play the voicemail through your phone, initiate a one-click call back to the person who left the voicemail, or delete the voicemail. You can also select multiple voicemails or all voicemails and bulk delete these here. Let's now move on to the Recordings tab. The Recordings tab is structured similarly to the Voicemail tab. Each recording includes the caller's number as well as the date and time the recording was left. We have the ability to download a recording file to our local computer or play it from our phone. We can also initiate a one-click call using the handset icon. The plus icon allows us to add the external number to our contact list. 
Finally, we can also change recording views between all recordings or just our extension recordings. Thank you for watching this guide on the 3CX web client. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful guides on 3CX and other related topics. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at 844-448-3546 or through email at sales at Or you can visit our website at www.telen.com.